Welcome dear Academians, I'm so hyped for the new Matrix movie, I had to create this digital effect using my frontend skills. Are you hyped for the new movie? Leave your answer in the comments down below. And now without further ado, let's get started. As usual we will have our HTML, CSS and JavaScript file. In our HTML markup we don't have anything special, we only included our style sheet, added the canvas that we will use for our effect and included the index.js script. Now if we open up our styles.css file, we can see that it's pretty simple. I set the background color to black, applied overflow hidden to get rid of the scroll bar, set 100% height on both the HTML and the body so we can have a full screen experience and remove all default margins and paddings. So far we only have a black screen, so let's add JavaScript to create the digital rain effect. Before that, please consider to hit the subscribe button down below to don't miss out on further educational content. So in our script the first thing that we have to do is to grab the canvas element from the HTML. I use the getElementById method of document and use the id matrix because I used it in the HTML template too. To draw on the canvas we have to get access to its rendering context. We can do that by using the getContext method and provide it in its parameter because we will work in a two-dimensional space. Next we will set up the size of our canvas and we will use the window's inner width and inner height to cover the whole viewport. In the next step we will create the character set that our algorithm will use. In Matrix they had a special font designed for this effect and now we will try to mimic it with Japanese katakana symbols, the Latin alphabet and Arabic numbers. Feel free to copy the katakana symbols from the GitHub repository. Next we will create our alphabet by combining our three different kind of characters into a bigger string that our algorithm will use to choose a random character. Next we will define our font size and calculate how many characters can fit on the screen horizontally. We can do that by dividing the width of the canvas with the font size. After that we will create a raindrops array and we will use that to position our raindrops. The index of an element will represent its coordinate on the x-axis and the value of a given element will represent its coordinate on the y-axis. To initialize our effect we will go over the raindrops array and for every column we will set the value for 1. You can think of it like setting the y-coordinate to 1 for every x-coordinate. Just to recap, the index of an element is its x-coordinate and the value of an element is its y-coordinate. Now it's time to implement the draw function that will do the heavy lifting for us. I'll use the context of our canvas and set the fill style of the text to be green and I also set the font size that we defined previously with a monospace font. Now we will loop through our raindrops array. In every iteration we will generate a random character from our alphabet string using the caret method of strings. Then we will use the field text method of our context to draw the character on the screen. The first parameter is the character that we want to print, the second one is the x coordinate and the third one is the y coordinate. Please notice that we have to multiply our x and y coordinates with the font size to get the perfect spacing. Then we will check whether our raindrop crossed the bottom border of our viewport so basically the y coordinate is greater than the canvas's height and if so we will set its y coordinate or element value to zero so it can start falling from the top of the viewport again. To watch closely you can see that a random chance is added to the condition. The purpose of this is to randomize the reset of the columns so we will get a nice rain like effect. Lastly we have to increment the value of the element by one so the y axis so in the next iteration it will be drawn one step downer. Now to have a continuous rain effect we have to call our draw function with set interval. It will call our draw function over and over again. I choose 30 milliseconds for the interval but feel free to play around with it. It will affect the speed of your rain. Now if we save everything and open up our browser we can see that we already have the rain effect but everything remains green and we don't have the trail effect. The fix for that is really easy. We just have to modify the draw function. We will draw a really transparent black rectangle over the whole canvas. 
and this will fade out the already drawn characters. If we save everything again and open up our browser, we can see that it looks really nice now. And this is how you can create the matrix digital rain effect. Thank you for watching and I see you guys in the next video.